Hello and welcome to Tax TV, Neil here and I've got Charlie on. Uh, Charlie, great to have you on, mate. Uh, you were on over other day and got some decent comments and feedback, mate, so uh, all good. Good to be uh, on. Good, good. Uh, obviously, we'll talk briefly about Port Vale game. Um, I think it was a bit of a mixed match. Uh, my take on it was that I thought defence looked like we were all over the shop. Uh, I'm not mentioning certain players' names. I think Colt, it just seemed to be... Uh, an haphazard kind of thing. I know we kind of were taking, uh, you know, Papa John's as a bit of a, you know, hopefully it could have been a cup run, but I think with attendances, it, it never really would be. But what were a bit, not concerning, but a bit uh, a bit worrying at times, well, you look at some of the players in VA, I'd have been wanting some kind of like reaction to like stake a claim for a first team place, Charlie. Yeah, I mean, I didn't watch the game because um, I, was, I was busy yesterday. But from what I've seen at reviews that I've seen, it seemed a bit flat. Now, you've got a fair few first-team players in there. You know, you've got Josh Benson, Adam Phillips. I know he... Um, did he come on? Am I right in saying? He, he um, started Phillips and he, he ended up getting subbed off like, yeah. Well, they, so you've got Phillips as well who's pushing for first team uh, and he's in it as well um, and I think it's time for Benson to, to step up another level um, he's had a good start to the season and then his, his form just seems to have dipped off and, and Kane's getting in there instead of him um, I think yeah from what I've from what I've heard from what I've seen it was very flat um, but there's still players in there that can make a difference and impact the game and if they're not going to step up to mark and do it then not going to get in until obviously is his first 11 on a on a Saturday either mm. yeah I mean I've, I've just got team here like you've got Walton who's at first team you've got Martin uh unusual from for what I saw Martin is that we're playing it right wing back which I thought were a bit of a weird one uh then you've got Moon Cundy and Kitchen you look at them all their first team experience uh Laresh again has been in and out just what you were saying via Benson and Phillips, they've both had first team experience. Uh, Nage man, a, a young kid, H and first team experience and Butterfield. But again, you, you look at the amount of players that are in via to say what Papa John's were a, a decent sprinkling of first teamers in via, which were a bit this is a bit concerning for me. Then you look on bench, you've got Collins, Anderson, Edwards, Cadden, Connell, Kane, and Cole. So all first teamers on bench. Um, and for whatever reason. I don't know. It just didn't work. Uh, credit to Port Vale. Uh, we just to send it down and move on. And it's another cup game coming up, Charlie. Crew. Uh, it's it all well. So, you know, I know I'm tired for us, but are, are you, are you like some of the fans wanting a cup run as well as league and all, mate? Um, for me, yeah, cup run's good for money. But, I mean, I've just been looking at team there, as, as you've been saying it, and I'd probably be putting the same team out in cup. I would not want to risk it, any injuries for, for league because we're working with um, a minimum squad as it is. We know what his attacking options are like. Um, so I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't want to be putting a full-strength squad out going for a cup run. Personally, I'd be putting a weakened side out if we can progress. And we get a big team, then yeah, we'll try and kick on from that cup run. Um, but for me, it's league. League's the main focus. I know cup brings me in, um, but I'd rather us get knocked out of cup and get into top six than have a good cup run and miss out on top six by like a point or a couple of points because we've got players injured. So focus for me is league one hundred percent. Do you think you'd be putting a stronger team out in this round for to like potentially go for third round and big get a bigger I'll say a bigger draw as a as a team all being well? Or is it nah just forget about it? Because I'd I'd for me, I'd like us to I'd like us to progress into the third round at least. Uh I think when you look at games, I don't think we've got a game I've with until second, is it? Yeah, so, so it's following Friday and yeah. we've got Peterborough away. Uh, I'm looking at Team Via and 
what I've noticed is that Andre Mark's going to be out for about six weeks. Uh, he's got an injury and all. So I think Walton will keep his spot. Moon, I, I'm just he's just not doing it for me. I'd rather him go out and loan somewhere, Moon. Wow. Uh, Kundi and Kitchen, yeah, you could see them there. Laresh, again, you could see them there. Benson and Phillips, again, there's options. Uh, I don't know how far Matty Wolf's off uh, from, from, you know, getting back there. <sighs> I think if it's just that right wing back role that needs sorting out, uh, whether it slip Edwards in there, I don't know. Or, I don't know. But I'm, I'm we all we I wouldn't be wanting to as many first team as him for like you said, picking up niggles and injuries and stuff like that. That's more or less its cup side, isn't it? Kind of thing. I know it were a bit different against Bolton away. Um, no disrespect to Crow, but Bolton and an, an harder place to go to to get a, a win and that. Yeah. Um, I'm just trying to think what what I'm kind of weird we're not changing it as much, but I'm I'm then looking at options for right wing back, and I think for right wing back, Ben, you kind of stuck because I think Undermark would have probably started there instead of Martin, if I'm being honest. Um would he would he risk Edwards playing it? Because he's been playing our 18 first team at centre back. Few options, but yeah, it's 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 a it's a bit of tricky to call, isn't it? Um yeah, yeah, I mean, league's for me, I think I think we can agree on this, Charlie. Is that I think saying that, I still think Ben, we we need that bit more of the squad depth, don't we? Yeah, um, squad depth is a definite. Um, you look at some of the players that we've got rid of talking about squad depth. I mean, you look at Victor; he's he's flying at Burton. Everybody was saying get rid of him, get rid of him. He's not done much. He's done it at another. It could have, you know, it, it could have been that. And squad depth is very minimal. And I get it's because we're working on a budget. At the same time, you've still got to have that depth there. You know, you've got to, if you get, you, you look at it, for instance, Anderson gets injured and Luca Connell gets injured. We've got the players there to cover, but they're not quite up to speed and up to match fitness mm. or sharpness uh, compared to players that could be losing art so squad depth for me January we need to make a, a couple of signings now even if they're not young lads it could be just mm. an old experience like midfielder defender um, anyway just get that depth and mm. stop relying on young lads as such because you don't want to ruin them too early either mm-hmm. I think what Ant tells us and it's not an excuse um, because it's been documented about such as Thomas McCarthy, Wolf looks like on the mark now, was picked up an injury. Norwood's had his uh injury as well, so there's, there's quite a few. And I get it, where there's like a lot of games in this league, and you're going to pick up niggles here, here and everywhere. Uh, unfortunately, look, Thomas, because it was like in a, a training ground uh, incident on his mm-hmm. own, actually. So, again, it's I think what what be is for me is to see our players, what we've got in the squad, react and say, yeah, do you know what? I might have a chance here to stake a claim. And, you know, I'd have been looking at that game in Papa John's, me, for some of them players, such as, I don't know, uh, I say Martin, but I think he would have played out of position. But such as like a, a Kundi, because he's been like rested for Edwards, just said, look, I'm still here. He had to cover this in glory kind of thing. And, I think it was a disjointed side, but again, when you play as VA and you, you know, you, it's like I still want, I'm, I'm still here, Gaffer, I'm, I'm, I'm here to play a game, innit? You know what I mean? And said, so I want to do a job for you. Yeah, and it is, it's about them last wanting, you know, going knocking on managers, do I say, look, I want to play. I mean, I might not have got the experience or what other other players have got. But I'm showing you that I'm a workhorse. I'm going to put the effort in, and I'll prove to you that I'm good enough. Um, and that that is what it is. It's it's about stepping up that next level and competing. I'd rather have more competition. And for me, first, like footballers, the more competition they've got, the more work ethic they're going to push and progress. Mm. I think it's going to be interesting. I want to say. Next couple of months, I'd say in January, it's going to be interesting to see what 
you know, players we have been linked, we are rumoured to be, you know, areas. But I think December's going to be important and all week. Fixtures coming up, like I said, get FA Cup out of the way. Then we've got um, Peterborough away. Then games coming up. Christmas fixtures always like, you know, acting to the way of Boxing Day. So it's a quick turnaround. Then before you know where you are, if we are in FA Cup, it's into New Year and we get going again. We've still got Portsmouth game as well to get rearranged. Uh, so there's going to be a fair amount of fixtures and I think it's going to be, I think come end of this year, you know, going to New Year, it'd be interesting to see what teams are going to be up there, there about. And if we still can be, in, I know we're the fifth at the minute, I, I know we're fifth, but I think if we're still, you know, come end of this year, not a million miles away from it, odd point, I, I think that could like more or less determine what we're going to be doing in January. I think if it had been... This is my opinion. I think if you'd have been in probably set 10th and we, I don't know, if a dozen points, eight points off it, I think it probably might have altered his way of thinking. I would, I would approach transfer when did you, do you, do you kind of see that you're saying? Yeah. Um, if we're pushing for top six come Christmas, or we're in that top six, obviously Christmas, January time. Hmm. There's going to be players that might be looking, thinking they've got a chance of getting, you know, into championship here. I want to go and we'll express it. If we're looking just as a mid-table slash lower table side, they'll be looking and thinking, well, I've, I've got one or two options. I can either go there and just plod along in League One, mm-hmm. or if there's other options with top six there, they could go to one of them. So that that's what it's about. It's about determined where you are to them looking at what players can come in um, and it is it's, it, Christmas defines everything in Christmas, January it defines everything it defines how your season is going to go injuries, players you sign um, managers I mean some managers hopefully it doesn't happen some managers do leave at, at, at January it, it's, it's been known before so it, it's a crucial time and hopefully by that time you know we, we can have a squad that's up to fitness, injuries are very minimal, and we can add and adapt to that and, and bring bring some depth in and, and get, get get some more firepower up top, especially mm. that, that's key yeah. area. Yeah, yeah, good point. That key area, I think uh, we were all calling for it in August when we were with it, you know, we were on strikers, mm. and then it, it like kind of said, Oh no, we're, we're eight, we got covered, and kind of thing, but like you said. A couple of injuries, a couple of suspensions, it, it makes a difference. And you don't want to like knock we're on the spit of unbeaten run a minute, albeit from Papa John's bottom on about in the league, you know, FA Cup and we're on that bit of a run. You, you try to I think more games you obviously the more games you win, you get that more belief, that more confidence, and it seems to be a progression. And it'd be a shame if, like your voice said, yeah, we need more firepower up, because I think no disrespect, but when we play, when we played um, at weekend, is that I thought we could have had more goals if we'd have been more clinical up front. Um, and I think if we can bring that player in, who was a bit of a goal poacher, we said it before, uh, we could have, you know, probably gone on to win a, a, a few more goals. Um, having said that, we're still on a run. We're going into FA Cup, uh, Magic FA Cup. Hope can happen. There's a few. Banana schemes, what's happened in, in uh, last round to go into this? So, a few surprises. Do you think we'll? I, I, I personally think we'll, we will win against Crew. Um, I think Duffel, I think Duffel, he'll have been his stands watching, he'll have readdressed it. Um, I think he's, he'll have highlighted and seen, you know, and where we've gone wrong, where it went wrong. I'm thinking we're going to be coming out winning this two note. I've just got a thing that we're going to. Take it, get him in amongst them, 2 0 and into the next round. What do you think? For me, it depends on team on day. Yeah. It depends what kind of players he puts. That if he puts the same squad as what he did yesterday, I can see us potentially losing, and that's no disrespect. Here's one for you, Ben Charlie. Here's one for you. Would it be our interest would this be then, right? If it what same team, what went out, yeah, and It'd be interesting to see the manager that Duff is, what a tune, what a difference he'd make compared to that one. That'd be an interesting call, wouldn't it? Like a, 
you know, a look about. That'd be interesting. Yeah, um, it is. It's yeah. again. It, it, yeah. For me, it depends on day. It depends who turns up. It's that that squad were good enough to beat Port Vale yesterday. Yeah, I get there's some inexperienced players there, but this is what this is where you've got to step up to mark. Mm. Um, I think on Saturday, I think Jalo will start personally, and that, that that's my opinion. I think he'll start. I think that's when it changes on mech. I think he might he might drop somebody like Anderson in, um, maybe Connell just just to bump it up. But I don't think he'll change it too much. Hmm. Um, but with with squad that we've got, it, it, with squad that played last night, it's it can go one or two ways. They'll either shine and they'll completely change. Well, my opinion as well, or it'll kind of be the same result and it'll it'll go one or two ways. Now, uh, crew, I think the fifteenth in league. Yeah. So they're not, they're not a bad outfit. Mm. They're not pushing for tops, uh, top six either. So it's again, it's it just depends on standards on day and, and at what players show up and what players put the effort in, and again, what team puts out as well. That's just going to boil down to. So yeah, uh, I'm going to know Barnsley, um, but an interesting call what you said, Charlie, about like you say, if it's same. If it's the same team where it what goes out, I know you're passing and Devaney what were taking charge at Papa John's of Vivden all the way through. Uh, but Duff will be in charge because he won't in charge at Bolton game away. So yeah, be yeah, be an interesting uh light flight comparison if that's the case. Uh, mm. but yeah. I'm going to know into the next round if, um, in third round. I don't know if it's the optimist in me or what like, but uh that's what I'm going for anyway. So <laughs> I'm gonna go for one apiece, and then I think it, it, it's either going to go, go on or, or we might just snatch a last minute winner. Last minute winner. Well, I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take a last minute winner. <laughs> keep us there. Keep keep the old uh, thinking else. Keep yeah. biting away. Like, so. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Leave your comments below. Uh, let's, let us know your thoughts at team, what played against crew. Uh, sorry, what played against Port Bell and going into the crew game. Uh, let us know your score predictions as well. It'll be interesting to see, you know, if you know, is it going to be a nail biter? Is it going to be, you know, a Barnsley easy, comfortable win? But I think we don't do how easy it was at Barnsley, do we? So we always like to be different. Uh, Charlie, as ever, it's been great to have you on, mate. No, oh, it's been good to be on, Paul. Thank you. Not a problem. Thanks for watching. Uh, one thing I'd like to say, you were Reds. Thank you.